Hey, many fish. Still the 26th, October 2017. And I can't leave Los Angeles yet. I just can't do it. Not allowed. There's more stuff to, uh, to share here, man. And one of them was, I was just thumbing through the wiki here. And I gotta get this stuff to you before it really piles up because there's a lot of different angles you can go down with this but this is this is kind of cool you see this stairway right here you know it's got this arch here it's a, that's a that's a hexagon an elongated hexagon that that's not really relevant right now just the fact that they're going through these little arches up the stairway and it straight away it reminded me of a video i did a couple of months ago and it was on this angel flight that reminded me of that he goes through the little arches and everything yeah again we could just go down so many roads with this but i thought that was very very interesting to say the least and i found the article that i did the video on back then which was here see august 31st on Angel's Flight, and it reopened, I guess. I forget why I did the video, but now I kind of remember. But, I, you know, you see things kind of hindsight. It's a little different. But this thing is just crazy loaded with all kinds of things to uh, ponder. It's 116 years old, and it was built in 1901. So you have, like, 911s mirrored with each other there, which is very interesting. It's 300 feet long on a 33% grade. It's in the heart of downtown. I just, this stuff is just really fun, basically. When he shows us stuff like this, it's just like so, you know, I don't know. Gives me purpose, I guess. And uh, the cars, the little cars that ride up and down the tracks there, they're named Olivet and Sinai. There's there's something we could just travel down there and probably find some pretty fascinating stuff, too. But it's pretty loaded with all kinds of really, really cool things. Look at this. They can't mow it, so they put in goats. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they got goats in there in the angel's flight. Isn't that crazy? And this is like straight down the road from Dodger Stadium. Like, literally. I think if you, if you look from Dodger Stadium, because it faces right downtown, like the way that the, the scarab is facing towards town, I mean, that angel flight is probably like, you know, right in the, right in the path. I haven't looked on the map yet, but that'd be something, huh? And another thing I got to share with you. I didn't see this before, but apparently this stadium and the area is also referred to as blue heaven on earth isn't that just another interesting tidbit so we go to the to the link right and let me see i want to get the right one yeah check this out blue heaven on earth crazy huh it's just an article of how they built the signs look at these little bobbleheads everywhere god and then, so I want to know what what do, what do people refer to Blue Heaven as? And I just do a search. This was the first one, and there was a TV show back in the '90s. I didn't look into it because my mind was grabbed by this image in the background. This football player. I'm like, why am I looking at that? So I want to see the image, and he's number 23. Okay, with the Vesica Pisces in his hand. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? This is just nuts crazy stuff and another definition down the line the free dictionary okay and apparently this is like a medical definition it's the hallucinogenic drug lsd now, i don't recall it being called that but i don't know but yeah the hallucinogenic drug and you think that's uh to keep people in La La Land, like they do. You know what I'm saying? Wow, what a world. What a crazy world. Oh yeah, let's not forget the bridegrooms. I got that still open. Yeah, there's many, many things to learn from this whole scenario here. Wow. 
but I really thought that would be an interesting little nugget for everybody, or a little spattering. And uh, it doesn't look like I'm leaving L.A. for a bit, because uh, he just keeps leading me to see these things, you know what I'm saying? So I'm staying. It looks like it. That's crazy. Angels fight. Yeah. Look at look into this if you want. The article. I mean, just look at the arches. Twelve lights. P B P O E. I don't know what that means. See what happens to me? I'll start going down these roads forever. B two P seven nine O six E five. Of course, it's nine eleven. Now apparently that could be both a good thing and a bad thing because right now it seems to me like we're seeing mirror images manifesting uh, of the good side and the bad side. You know what I mean? That's that's what's happening, folks. We're watching it unfold before our eyes, and I mean, you really wanna you wanna be on the Jesus train. I'm just just telling you because. That's where you learn the truth, and you find comfort, peace, and, uh, you know, we just carry on one day at a time, you know what I'm saying? But, there you have it for you, and uh, I hope that brings some understanding to some people. Peace and grace to you, Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 